my granddaughter's bedroom is right above our kitchen and that was the faucet that we would leave running and she was waking up um, sick in the mornings, vomiting. I know about carcinogens. I grew up drinking them in my tap water. I was diagnosed with bladder cancer at the age of 20. And at last count, I have had 93 cystoscopes. This has raised water in Dimmick, Pennsylvania. It's kind of a hot day, is anybody thirsty? This is about our future. That you're gonna bring. The largest thing, the biggest thing, the thing that mattered most this year was not the election. It's not. It was that the Arctic melted like it's never melted before. Just a year and a half ago here in Philadelphia, there was a gas problem. Four utility workers went to the site and one fire truck. It blew up. It blew to hell or heaven. A 19-year-old man who had been on the job for six months. It disfigured all of his crewmates for the rest of their lives. And it killed a firefighter. This is a planetary emergency. There's no other way to think about it. I don't want your money and But my story is about my daughter. My water changed to this color in March 15th of 2011. My neighbor, her water changed the same time mine did. A month after her, her water changed in April, she had free floating water. Uh, fluid in her system, her spleen and her liver were very enlarged. In three days, her spleen burst. In this jar is the bedrock of my childhood home along the banks of the Illinois River, or more accurately, the blown up remnants of that bedrock. It's silica sand. So inside this jar is the agent of fracking itself. The water that you hear so much about is just the delivery system to blast the sand grains in this jar into the shards of shattered shale below our feet. We know that we've got democracy out here, but something else is happening in there. Something far more nefarious is happening in there. This year, it's a beautiful place. Pennsylvanians know what it means to depend on the water in the ground. We live on it, it is our life force, it is our culture, and it is our identity. When the International Energy Agency ran the numbers on a natural gas future, they found that if you converted everybody off coal and oil and just ran the whole planet on natural gas, the temperature would go up about six degrees Fahrenheit. With air pollution, with methane being vented off into the atmosphere and as you heard Bill McKibben speak about the climate crisis as it is now we know methane is 105 times more potent than CO2 is in the atmosphere. This is proof that when we work together not only can we beat the drillers but we do beat the drillers. Now I don't have to tell you that we're in complete crisis with every aspect of this industry. Now the drillers they tell us that we need gas drilling because it's going to bring jobs. Well, I'm here today to tell you that if we have drilling in this watershed, it will harm jobs. There are hundreds of thousands of jobs and tens of billions of dollars that are generated by a clean and healthy Delaware River. No frack, more solar. No frack, more solar. Cost of solar four years ago per watt was about $10 a watt. We're bidding a project right now, commercial grade, for under three in four years. I live in the state of Vermont, where our leaders decided to ban fracking. Here to be, by the way, and I'm ready for this. The Black Fist Lake Catalyst. Then join me in this march now. Gather now. Point yourself in the direction of the marshals ahead and be prepared to march for truth, for justice, and for freedom. It's your eye when you live to live, or live to live, rise, ah. It's your eye when you fight, I fight, you die, I die, ah. It's your eye when you live. Come on, come on, I'm that black power freedom fighter, African.
This movement is growing. This movement is learning. This movement is getting better and stronger. Freedom!